Okay, so who wants to go first? First volunteer. See what your base is like. I'll start with mine, I guess. Okay. I'm logging in right now. Okay, so it should be up. Password is same password you guys have been using. Okay. Is everybody off my server, though? I am now. Okay. Okay, so the fun part. Um, let's start the game. Did we just search for something, or? We go to start, and then you go to join game. Yeah. And then friends. Yeah, you go to the friends tab, and Jeff's is up. If you have Jeff as a Steam friend. Oh. Oh, you guys aren't friends? Oh, that would be a problem, wouldn't it? I mean, you can join over the, the world code. If you open the map, I think you can see it. Open the what? what? Yeah, the world code. I think when you launch into the game, I'm dumping Gimpy's uh, dreams, so I see the number. Just, just waiting for him to load in. Join code is seven zero seven two seven eight. Yep, seventy seventy two seventy eight. Jeff. Uh oh. Huh? How do I find your base? <laughs> oh, I just head south. I clicked on visible other characters. You can see me. So I head south. You can't miss it. Yeah. It's foggy. Very fun. And there's Jeff. And they're not attacking us. Not where they go. Yeah, like... The king's here. It's always oh, fun God. to. W <laughs> it's always fun to watch the. Uh, or look at other people's bases because you can tell they're built for one person. Look at all those chests. Wow. Were you able to find it, Rex? Uh, so it was, what was the code? 72? It was 707. Da, da, da. Get that. 70, 72, 78. Oh, you mean you're talking about Steam code thingies? No, it's a join code. No, no. Oh, okay, never mind. At seven zero seven two seven eight, and there the password is the same as mine. I built a table really quickly at the back end of my workshop. If you want to see where I'm going. back end of your but workshop, yeah, there's not really much to see. Gold bed, of course. A bed for maximum health or maximum rest. The work area with all the workbenches, with all the chests on one side. Holy and then all the add-ons I put like on the other side of the wall. You did some exploring. Holy shit! Oh, and I got the chickens coop represented as well. And I got the eater thingy here as well. So it's all here quite compressed. Yeah, you saved some iron by raising some stone ground for the refinery. I made a full-on uh, age again. So Ragstone, Ragstone arrived. Just head south, Ragstone. I can see you guys on the map. Of course, it's got the jacuzzi. 
for the higher rested buff, of course. Yep. And the only reason why I build up the walls a little bit was so I can get more vines. Yeah. But yeah, that's this is pretty much it. The only other spots I got is obviously farms and the plains and the mistlands and that's it. My plains farm is practically the Yaglus portal in a big round stone ring. And my Mistlands farm is right around the, the Queen location on the ground. And there are also three vines. Sucking it close to Yaglus, we had the Mistlands portion. There's also, well, I have four suckers. Yeah, not much to it. It's all nicely, all easy for me to grab whatever I need on the base here. That's a nine cluster vine wall. Looks good. That's a long wall full of vines. Yep. I built it one higher just so I can get the vines a bit higher. Like two portals. Yep. Only two portals. One I always keep for the boat, and one for travel portal. Like Stargate, you have to enter the right address for where you want to go. It means you have to remember them. Or write them down. So yeah, not really much to it. I found it convenient. Cool. It was easy to use this spot. I never had any problems defending it. The only biggest problem I had is on the water there from the lizards. I think they destroyed three or four of my boats. I found it convenient that uh, everything that's under a field will not wither, so you don't have to repair wooden structures that are not meant to be in the open. Ah, uh, no pier? No, no what? Ugh. Oh, dock, dock. Beer. Beer. Send. I just have a boathouse. Yeah, I didn't bother. All I cared about for this space is resting, a uh, place to store my stuff, a space to build stuff, and that's it. So what's with the little crater out here? This was a test? Oh, uh, one second, I'm coming to you. Yep, that was my Ford operating base tests. So how big, like, I did a test of uh, building the building and then doing like a stone wall around it and trying to figure out how much stone I need. And so those were my two tests. Okay. A little bunker with shield generator portal workbench. Yeah, so I played around with it a bit, tried to figure out how best to do it because I was, yeah. As you know, I was frustrated with Ashlands when I tried it. Goblins! Dead Goblin. So I was trying to figure out like how big of a... Uh, earth wall around the buildings I need. Yep, makes sense. You don't need a heck of a lot. Yeah, I practice that a couple of bits since it's easier to practice it in the peaceful meadows here, <laughs> in a nice relaxed location rather than in the Ashlands. How's the sword, right? Kill stuff? Um, it kills things, yeah. Okay. So, like next? some things on fire. Jeff has done bigger bases in the past, very extravagant ones in the past. Oh yeah, my last base in the yeah, that was a nice base. It's gone. <laughs> Everything's <laughs> gone. Oh, I was I like, pissed? Uh, yeah, that was a nice base. Oh, you still have chickens? Still running around? I heard them. Yep, there's chickens in there. You can do what you want with them. Oh, I don't care about chickens. I got my own chickens to worry about. 
Okay, so who's next? Loading up. Okay, I'll wait for you all to disconnect before I leave. Can't disconnect. And servers up. Normal password. Where can I see the code when I'm already in? Is escape. I, I think it shows up when you hit escape. Oh, yeah. Yep. So three eight two seven oh one. And the lesson to learn here is be friends with other people on the stream. <laughs> Makes life easier in the long run. Bail the gira giraffe. Where are who from? The people I'm grouped with? Uh, Jeff and Ragstone are in Canada. Hurricanes over in Germany. And I'm in the United States in the southwest on the California-Mexico border. Them are some high walls. Yeah. Takes up a lot of stone to do that. Oh, yeah. Those I usually get from uh, copper mining and uh, tin mining. You can have a shield here. Yep. That <laughs> thing, and it fitted perfectly. I mean, base I built after the Elder. Well, I started before the elder, and I just built on top, on top, on top, and the shit generator just fitted. Nice. Hey, Ring, welcome back. Got some little defenseless little pikes out there, keep all the evil little goblins away. Well, the, the wimpy goblins, or whatever they're supposed to be. And they were great. The problem is, if those spikes get destroyed, it doesn't drop the resources. Even if you destroy them with the hammer, with the rebuild stuff, they don't drop the resources. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Been watching for a while. Okay. So, Hurricane's got his little vine thing on the outside. There's this little Faraday cage. <laughs> How many portals do you have? Eight? It's for every boss location and the two merchants. Ah, okay. And in front I have a new stone portal for the non-named uh, quick travel portal. The muddy block fort. Yeah, armor stands are nice. So is this all farmland back here? Yep, the <laughs> whole ground outside is cultivated. Okay. Just to plant wherever, whenever. Right. No, no, I, I understand the, the easiness there. Oh, you don't keep your hearth inside? You don't keep everything nice oh, and warm? Oh, your skill level is quite nice. Oh, this is a chicken coop. Never mind. I walked right by the front entrance, didn't I? As it's upstairs? No. What's upstairs? Uh, the uh, front entrance is right below the beehive. I see. No, wait a minute. I see it. Multiple entrances now. I see that door, and then there's, a, and there's an opening over here, too. Okay. I'd exit to get to the workshop behind. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't hit my stuff. I think Jeff fell in the chimney, it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's gonna be for dinner. He's gonna stay for dinner, I think. That Jeff is dinner. <laughs> What are you deconstructing? <laughs> 
<laughs> he thinks he's getting out. Yeah, Canadian long pork. How do I get out? Why did you get in? He fell. I have seen everything. I'm gonna log out. You, you have a design flaw. <laughs> it's not Sorry. Canadian proof. <laughs> Okay, let's see where Hurricane's been. So the interesting here, interesting thing here is Hurricane copied my world seed, so it's the same world. And he was exploring when we weren't playing to find different stuff at the same. So to basically, you know, scout things out and stuff. So if it looks familiar, it kind of is. This was the section. Oh, that's motor. I was right, you haven't been to Ashlands yet. That's what it is. Nope. So, the boat is ready to go there. So it's funny, so I said over here. This is our on my map, the plane we have our plane space up here, I think. And then he told me about there being mistlands down here because we needed more mistland stuff. And I went exploring and I ended up over on the western end a little bit more, and then we were trying to figure out where did he land in comparison to my, to me and stuff? Because he put a screenshot, a screenshot up on my, uh, well, it was kind of a screenshot, uh, up on my Discord, and I was trying to figure out where did he actually land. And it turned out that I I just ended up more farther west here, but this is a huge misland area because on my it it actually goes far as the west too, so it's like sort of really big. Although there's it looks like it's probably two mislands because this water right here. Yeah, so it's actually two continents, it looks like. Hmm. Interesting. But again, same world map. Just uh, not quite as investigated yet. Give me a repair. <laughs> second level, so... It's that stuff... Yeah, one of these days I'm going to build a f base with a second floor on it. Someday, maybe. We'll remind you about that two years from now. Yeah, well, next time. Well, we're hopefully we don't have to start all over again. I hope not. I really hope no, not. No, we we should resume on this map. Don't yeah. do Ashlands again. Oh no, my God. no, we don't want to. Well, we definitely don't want to. So. So that's it. Yep. No more other Ice. Okay. Only three. Yeah, I have a little Holotheum stone ring in, in the Yagdos location for the farm. And that's basically it. portals to every boss. No dock. There's a little boathouse. I think materials for two of the first boat after the float. of a road all the way down to her. So is this the same? No, this is a different spot. Some of my boat base is yep. built. Right at the uh, circle with the bus. You are more west. Right. Oh, there's two egg there base, bases? I didn't realize that. Yeah, then you get go far enough out. I guess there's another... I think I found another queen location on mine. I'm not sure. No, I don't think so. Yeah, no, that's quite common. Yeah, so on my, my, uh, my world, my base is over here. Right there. It's in this area. Yep. Okay, so. Okay, Rex, turn, you want to go next? Alright, I'm up. Okay. 
code is five 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 nine six. Same password. Big surprise. Makes life easier, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So when you come in, basically head north, hit the shore, and then head west along the shore. Or left, if for those people. Directions? Uh. Or directions impaired. Uh -huh. So head due north. I was just making, I was just making it so you can see me on the map. So, so yeah, if you click on visible on the player, then you can just see. It. What's that? If you click on the map for visible to other players, so we can just see where you're at. In the lower right-hand corner of the map. Must have been a fun. No, no, you're still in the meadows here. Okay. All oh, these trees, all this wood being wasted. Oh, you get boats out and everything. Uh, there's no doors into the wall, so you have to jump. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to peer out here. I oh, see so a nice big boat ready to go. Get your uh, berries growing on the wall there. Wow, you spent some time on this, didn't you? A little. That's a whole city. Impressive. Oh wow, look at all the boats. They all got their own little berths and everything. That's a big kitchen. <laughs> Come on, you pansy. Get back in there and fight. The oven to cauldrons. The big yeah. barrel to ferment. The different sort of roofs. The grill. <laughs> this center, this one here used to be the main hall until I built the main hall. Oh, it's even more. Wow. Somebody's been spending a lot of time in here. So. I didn't know there's a. I didn't know there was a staircase like that. Yep. Yep. Never used, this ones. Never used Marble. to. Never used Oh! Uh, the circle. There. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's Miss Lance. Yep, so we spend a lot of time in here. Nice exploring. stone. This is Ashland stone, isn't it? Yes. I carried I carried it all back from your server. I was going to say, you don't, you're not, you didn't get down to the Ashlands here, really, it looks like. Nope. So you stole the rock from my server. Okay, I see. Yep. <laughs> I'm not good enough of a gamer to actually try and solo Ashlands. <laughs> no, I, that's, I had no intention of doing that either. I don't know, with the gear you have now, it shouldn't be that big of an issue. Yeah, it's just I don't want to lose it. <laughs> no, I get it. I'm just saying, like, once you hit the land and if you got, like, bone mass and with the gear you have now, it's it's not that big a deal. 
-hmm. once you set up like a uh, spot, but what's the point at this point, I guess? Farm rock. <laughs> That's basically the only reason well, I'm, to do it. I'm pretty much done building with Ashland's material. Looks and I do have a little bit left over. I think the only thing I would miss is the gem cutter to upgrade the Black Forge to maximum. That's the one thing I am missing is, is that upgrade. Because oh, they are really spare sparse with the bloodstones in our run. Yep. I was lucky. I found like two in one spot and then the next three or four fortresses I went to was nada. I haven't quite finished the outer wall. Yeah, you can actually get into your base from the the lower portion. Yep. If somebody was to be a, or if something would be a persistent, they could get in there. But yeah. Ah uh, no, I've actually made it so that mobs can't get in because they can't jump. So it's just high enough so that. Oh, uh, okay. And he doesn't get visits from mistlint creatures that could climb up the walls. And then there's out the back is my uh, fine wood farm. Fine wood farm. Yeah. There's three oak trees, and then the hillside is covered with a uh, birch trees. Ah. What are you, a gravity lumberjack or a regular jump lumberjack? Um, if the tree falls, it falls. Those of you who don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> at my, in my pace, I plant trees all along the hillside and then chop the trees down at the top and push them down the hill until the trees lower down. That way it saves you a lot of time on uh, chopping the wood. And then the Dark Forest's um, restoration program is just off to the distance. To the... Restoration program? Oops. Mm-hmm. Well, I, that's where all the wood that I chopped down to build my fort. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So, so I had tons of uh, seeds left over when I finished, so I went and... Planted them out there. Yep. Planted them all back over there. Yep. So. Got to do that too at some point. This is, the, this is the part that I haven't quite finished yet. So I wanted to build it up so I could have somewhere nice and tall to grow my... Oh, the, the vines, yep. The problem with doing that is, you know, you know where they end up growing, right? Where you don't want them? No, at the very top, so you can't reach them. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> That's... I... I've noticed that. So, oh, well, so oh, this is where your Eider stuff is. In. Yeah, yep, it's, your it's down below here. Yeah, using the stone is really nice because it looks better, too. I mean, the, the Faraday cage is cool and everything, but... This look just looks better. Might be easier to do in the long run. Well, it's it's not as precious resource uh, intensive because it's made out of that stone, the marble instead of uh, iron. Made out of giant bones. Giant bones. Yes. Oh, that's where that marble that's comes from. That's right. That's where the marble comes from here. Right. Dead giant bones. Yep. Ah, oh, look at your fancy little portals in their own little recesses. That's where I put my uh, suits of armor, too. That yeah, way. I saw them in the windows and stuff. That was kind of cool. Yeah, I found that if you put the, uh, the stone around the shoreline, it stops the uh, critters from attacking your boats. Yeah, yeah. Nordic SG1, yes. We'll go back to Spirit Arm. Where the chickens are? Yeah, this is where the chickens are. Yeah, so if you notice that there's little things sticking out of my wall, those are workbenches. <laughs> yeah, it happens. 
Well, I just oh, I actually purposely bury them along the wall so that the uh, keeps the bad guys out. Ah. Except for that guy running around. Follow people. I always get one that comes in for some reason. He's coming in through the water more than likely. Yeah. They swim around. I've, I've in our previous base, I tried to do a little dock area and try to make it make it secure by building it out onto the water and stuff, and they still manage to get in. I don't know how they do it, but they manage to swim around. Yeah, well, it's like every game they cheat. Yeah, this is really nice. Yeah, very well done. Very time. Yeah, okay. I don't even want to think how long we spent doing this. Well, I'm not sure. Well, just for farming all the stone alone would be take a quite a while. Um, the only yeah. Well, the thing is, is once you get to the plains, it's pretty easy with those towers. Hmm. Yeah. Before stone shrine. Drop, yeah. Drop those things in, in very very quickly and pour them back, and away you go. It's interesting, is like I can see the, the merchant locations, even though you haven't been to them on the map. Oh, it's there oh, on I've, the map. Yeah, I've been to them. I've oh, I've been to the main one, but I haven't been to what's her name? Ildir. Yeah, unlocked the location of a visitor. I really don't see much point in. Yep, yeah, no, I get it. It's just interesting that it's on the map. What was uh? When you unlock Hildir, you get the location, the special locations, and in the planes, special locations, there was axe in the chest, so you can get axe early before you kill the Yag Yaglus. Yep. But what the hell so, are doing that? Well, those don't use, that's useful if you do like a, um, a no mini map run. So it's you're less likely to find the merchant if you do that type of run. But you always. Since you got to run around in the plains a lot anyways, you're more likely to run into Hildir. And you're more likely to run into those uh, um, seal towers. Because there's about three or four of them on the map. So it's a nice way to be able to get eggs for mist lands. But the problem is, I think, was there only one egg or was there two eggs in that thing? I think it was two, exactly two to start the whole thing. Yeah, there's two eggs there. Okay, so that's handy if you're doing like a no map run. Because you're never going to find the merchant with a no map room. So how do you get your pigs in here? I'm guessing you built up the walls after you got them in here. Um, um, yeah, they came. They uh, two of them attacked me at the same time while I was building the wall. So I just threw this up around them, and <laughs> that was it. I'm going. That was it. Yep. And then I put the roof on because it's bats and things. Right. You don't have a farm? Here? Yeah, it's on the other side of the portals over here. It's a very small one. That's why I missed it. Yep, that's why I missed it. Didn't look down here. Onions. Oh, but this is plenty big enough, though. I wouldn't say this is small. <laughs> Anytime you can get, what is it? How many rows do you have? It's a good size. Seven Six by two. seven by twelve or so, seven by ten. As far as planting goes, that's actually pretty good size. Oh, very nice. Makes me jealous. Makes me feel bad that I didn't spend this much time on my base. <laughs> yeah, you've been rather lazy, can This time around, I actually have been. Which is fine. No. Well, I would say he had help. Who? Me? I found a bed not belonging to Rackstone. Oh, that is uh, my backup character when I screw up. Oh, that's also <laughs> a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that's the character I was playing before I stopped, and then we restarted. So, 
Yeah, that that's the one I used to. Is that a Baldur's Gate 2 reference? What? Hmm? The name of the character? Um, no. <laughs> Ari is a, an elf in, in Baldur's Gate 2, an NPC uh, party companion. Oh. Oh, Ari is also, it's a, it's a common fantasy name too. Oh, uh, that's why it's in BG2, I guess. Yeah. That was another one. Airy or something. Yeah, it's airy. It's it means air. <laughs> oh, look at all this stuff. So these pillars do they support? The roof? Yes. Yeah, they do. Okay. I was just starting to work with them on my base in the tower that's out front, so I don't wasn't quite sure yet. Yeah, the Ashlands material is you need to work with. Yeah, yeah it's not my because favorite. It doesn't. A lot of the stuff doesn't match in height, so. Yep. If you try to, it took me about 15 minutes to figure out how to build one of those pillars so that it actually matched the floor above us. Yeah, it's. 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 Um, the walls, they don't line up properly on the floor pieces, and when they meet at corners, they don't actually. They're not flush. Um, it, they need to tweak those. If they, you know, if they want people to, uh, you know, build look cool looking stuff, they need to make their pieces align better. Yeah, and you can see that even the, uh, the Mistlands arch that I have over top of the door doesn't quite match the original wood uh, stone either. Right. And that they've got this beautiful inlay in the the curved arch pieces, but they don't have a flat piece that. Uh, has that in it, so it's uh, so that you can only. They basically are just uh, two squares next to each other. You can't really make them that big. No. Yeah, that's true. That's all. Hmm. I need to get back to work on that. You can do it. Switch Prime just put up Baldur's Gate One Enhanced Edition as a freebie with Prime Folk. I already have that though. I should probably get it. Again. Did they just do that? The enhanced edition or normal? What do you got? He's disparate are saying Baldur's Gate 1 enhanced. I think I have enhanced for both. 1 and 2. Pretty sure I do. Let me double check. Yeah, I have enhanced for both. But they just put it up? Yeah, I see three, three new entrants uh, on my Prime Gaming app. YouTubers Life, Who, Man Eater, and Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. Which I already claimed sometimes before. And yeah, I'm already claimed. So I'm the Baldur's Gate one. Oh, and Man Eater for Epic. The God I swear I already had that one, but I, apparently I didn't. Okay. Okay, so I think we're done in Valheim for a while. <laughs> Probably a year or so. That's how long it takes for them to get out the new biomes or whatever. Alert our resident shark fan. He'll find he'll find it, I'm sure. Question is if the next update is 1.0 or if they release the Bridget Norse and then there will be some more work until they get to 1.0. Well, I Everything don't know. Everything they want to get in will be in. Yeah, no idea. I, I don't know what the roadmap is. I've never really looked at it. So, well, they they haven't been looking at uh, big deep north for quite a while, anyway. So, still tweaking Ashlands. They probably took like an initial look at it, but nothing 
no pictures or nothing out of it. Of yeah. The video. yeah, like they've got enough work to do on Ashland still, so because it's got some issues in it as far as uh, connectivity for multiplayer and that kind of stuff. Even single player, it gets kind of funky sometimes. I would assume probably within the, a month when they do the next kind of um, information update for people, they'll start showing some picture, some initial pictures of what they're thinking of doing up there. So you'll we'll probably see it over the next couple of months. And then a year and a half from now, we can uh, start playing it, I guess. Maybe yeah. two years. <laughs> and hopefully we won't have to start over. Fingers crossed. Would be nice. Yeah. Oh, there's curtains? I didn't know there were curtains. I just oh, noticed yeah. that. Upstairs, downstairs, yeah. I didn't I didn't realize they were in the game. Not that it matters. The uh, uh, red cloth that you find in those werewolf caves on the mountains. Oh, the... the red linen. Yeah, it's, uh, what the hell's the name of it? Um, Jute. 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 J-U-T-E, yeah. Do you know that's an actual real thing in life, too? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't know that. Is Because uh, it was, a, it was a couple, it was about a month or so ago. Mrs. Gimpy's doing her crafting stuff. And she goes, she was working on something, and uh, she was like a little while away from me, and I was like sitting next to her crafting stuff. She goes, Can you hand me that jute? And I went, What? <laughs> she goes, That stuff next to you, the jute. And I go, What the hell is jute? And it was basically just uh, like a, a rope cord of some kind, I guess, is really what it is. And, it, and, and she goes, Just hand it to just that written right next to you. I go, Shoot, I, d I actually know what this is actually supposed to be, sort of kind, because it's in a video game I've been playing. I just never knew what it, what it actually was before, but it turns out it's a it's a rope. It's a it's a it's they have jute bags. It's actually a material used for doing uh, weaving and different types of stuff, but it's it's thicker than thread. It's more of a cord. kind of crafts does she do? Uh, she's uh, depends on her mood. Um, she does these. Um, she, I don't know. I don't know what they're called, but the, they have like these wire frames in different shapes, like uh, circle or you know circles or crosses or squares or whatever, whatever she wants to do. And then she gets these cord-like materials. And she weaves them together in different colors and themes and stuff. You know, she does stuff for like Christmas and Easter and and fall and you know Fourth of July and all the stuff. So she does different things with that. It's like a dream catcher. No, it's not a dream. Yeah, not really. It's you'd have to see one, and she takes pictures of all of them that she does. But she does other things too, like she's. Um, she was into making like snowball, or not snowball, snow globe things, but without, well, she did, she started doing snow globes with fluids in them, and then she uh, decided not to do that because it's a pain in the ass, and she started doing snow globes without fluids in them, and they're different, but um, she enjoyed doing those as well, and basically it's just, you know, like a little diorama, and you put it inside a, you know, a, a dome and with, the, with the snow in there, and you can shake it up and all this other fun stuff, so... She does, she's on those before. What else does she do? A lot of a lot of glue. <laughs> she uses glue for you know, hot glue and stuff for different things. Um, like I said, I have to go through and look at uh, all her pictures and stuff to get a good idea of what she really does. But I know she spends a lot of time with, like, like I said, doing the the metal the metal. It's metal wire frames in different shapes, and then she like I said weaves stuff together. So. It's time consuming, but she can crank out basic ones fairly quickly, like within a couple hours. But the more complicated ones take time. Lots of time. Okay, so. I think we're done for today here at Valheim. But anyway, so. Yep, so uh, I'll plan it now. We meet back here. Uh, one year, seven months from now, and uh, I don't know, uh, continue on. <laughs> yes, one year, seven months from now. Okay, so 
The stream's not over yet, though. I'm going to take a break, get up, stretch my legs, get some water, that kind of thing. And when we come back, we'll be switching over to the Republic of Pirates, which is a little city builder with a pirate thing to it. And um, we'll go from there. So anyway, thank you. Uh, thank you, everybody, for coming out and watching. Of course, thank you, Ragstone, Jeff, and Hurricane for joining me and showing off your bases here. Uh, I think Ragstone wins the, the time award. Yeah, that's for sure. A lot of a lot of time put in this place. I, I'm deducting points for stealing rocks from my world, though. No, I would give him extra points for the <laughs> Give him extra points for the ingenuity. For saving time. Why, why go through all the pain and aggravation of going to the Ashlands myself when I can just take it as payment for the pain and suffering from... <laughs> for, the pain and for the pain and suffering for all the dying? You've got so much ground, and we have enough. You even did a fancy little smoke exit up here, too. Or chimney, sorry. Smoke exit. Yep, so he made that fall proof, so I couldn't fall into it. Hurricane didn't go the next one mile. Yeah, I, I made it Jeff proof. Yeah, I forgot to look at Hurricanes and see. How did Jeff fall through the t chimney like that? Or fall the. Yeah, the chimney. It's just, oh, yeah, it, it's, it's just a high uh, roof on it, that's all. Hurricane made his so you couldn't fall on it because it's actually a solid column all the way up. Mostly solid. <laughs> so anyway. So like I said, gonna take a break. Be back in a few minutes. And we'll do some uh, Republic of Pirates. So yeah, thank you all very much for coming out watching. Be back shortly. Enjoy the dog video. Gimney is modified and Canadian proof now. <laughs> <laughs> Canadian it's proof. Jeff proof. <laughs>